So a quick look at an application of antiderivatives here or integration. Uh, let's take a look at this. It's not a true application. Uh, we're not really being told anything about the real world, uh, but it is a word question and something that you, uh, you might come across and something that you sort of need to understand. It's also a stepping stone into the proper modeling and problem solving questions. Let's take a look. Find the equation of the curve g of x given that g dash x equals 3 root x plus 2 and the curve, that is g of x, passes through 1, 2. Okay, so uh, just an idea of what we know here. We know that there's some sort of Cartesian plane and we know that a function, g of x, passes through the point 1, 2. We also know that the derivative of g of x is g dash x equals 3 root x plus 2. So we don't know g of x. We don't know what g of x looks like. We don't know if it's a, a cubic or a, or a polynomial or whatever. Uh, but we do, we do know that its derivative is this. So if g dash x equals 3 root x plus 2, that means that g of x... Sorry, I should put some brackets in there. That means that g of x is going to be equal to the integral of 3 root x plus 2. Now, you guys should be getting pretty uh, pretty good at this. First step is to get rid of that radical, so 3x to the half plus 2, and then integrate that. Now when you're doing this, make sure that you step through it nice and careful here. Now the integral of this, in order to do it, we add 1 to our uh, power. Now a half plus 1 is 3 on 2. And then we divide by whatever that new power is. So 3x to the 3 on 2 divided by 3 on 2. And this one should be pretty straightforward. 2x. Now don't forget there's going to be a plus c as well. Now we should be able to tidy this up a little bit. 3 divided by 3 on 2. Uh, feel free to use your calculator here. 3 divided by 3 on 2 is the same as 3 times 2 on 3, which is going to be 6 on 3, which is going to be 2. 2x to the 3 on 2 plus 2x plus c. That should be our g of x. Now, if you're not sure whether you've done that correctly, uh, make sure that you test yourself. Uh, most of us are more comfortable finding the derivative of things than the antiderivative of things. So if I now reverse that whole process, that means that I would take this number, multiply it by 2. 2 times 3 on 2 is going to be 6 on 2, which is going to be 3. Decrease that by 1, which is going to be a half. 3x to the half, which is what I had to begin with. And the same here, 2x, the derivative of 2x is 2. Yep, that makes sense. So make sure that you backtrack these things to make sure that your integration is correct because most of us are better at derivatives than integrals. Okay, so we now know that g of x equals 2x to the 3 on 2 plus 2x plus c, but we don't know what the c value is. So we can find it though. We can find it because we know that uh, 2x to the 3 on 2 plus 2x plus c passes through the point 1, 2. So all we need to do is sub point 1, 2 into g of x. Okay, so let's do that. We'll do that up here. Um, so point 2, e, so 2 was the y value. 2 equals 2 times 1 to the power of 3 on 2 plus 2 times 3 on 2 plus C. And now we just need to solve that for C. Now you can type a lot of this into your calculator, but we should know most of it. 2 equals 2 times 1 to the power of 3 on 2. 1 to the power of 3 on 2 is still going to be 1. Any 1 raised to any power is going to be 1. Uh, so 2 times 1 is going to be 2 plus... 2 times 3 on 2, which is going to be 6 on 2, which is going to be 3 plus C. So 2 equals 5 plus C. So C equals 2 minus 5. So C equals negative 3. Okay, this is what happens when you try to rush things. Whoopsie. Hopefully you guys picked up on that mistake. Um, I was subbing in the point 2, 1. So I subbed in the point 2. That's great. 
I subbed in point one there, but then I must have seen this three on two, got excited. That should be a one there. That makes our maths a lot a lot easier. If that's a one there, two times one is going to be just get rid of that. It's gonna be um two. Which is gonna make this get rid of that. Which is gonna make that four. Get rid of this. Two minus four. Negative 2. Okay, so our C value is negative 2. Finally, we finish this whole thing off. G of X equals 2X to the 3 on 2 plus 2X and the plus C minus 2. Okay, so we got there in the end. That's a, a simple application of antiderivatives.